get some help! this way. Must find the hole and seal it up for good. Uh, meanwhile, you children should get safely home. Uh, okay. Hmm. If it weren't for you, we might not have known about that opening. Thank you. Sarah, big hero. Huh? Oh, me tell everybody, Sarah, big hero. No, wait. Oh, well, whatever. Everybody! Sarah Hero! Sarah, save us from belly draggers! Amazing Sarah, scare belly draggers away! Sarah, big hero! <gasps> there she is. The hero girl. <gasps> what was that? Tree stars? But... Why are they falling? Hail the amazing three-horned girl She drove the sharp teeth all away Her mighty courage saved the day She is our hero now Who would have thought a time 
task so big could be done by one so small. But now we know she's strong and brave. She really has it all. So hail the amazing three-horned girl. Amazing three-horned girl. We'll tell her story near and far. Because of how impressed we are, she is our shining star. The amazing three-horned girl. knew you were amazing. Hey, Longneck, you hear what my daughter did? Yes, I was with her this morning. She single-handedly fought off the belly draggers. Yes, <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. We blocked off the opening in the Great Wall, and there was no trace of the belly draggers. Of course not. When a three-horn chases somebody, you can bet they stay gone. Uh, right, Sarah? Uh, I hope so. I really didn't do anything special. Nonsense. You're a hero. You stood your ground while your friends just ran away. <laughs> Good thing she takes after her father. Uh, long neck. <sighs> Who came to hear about the amazing three-horn girl? I did! I did! I sure 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 did! Tell us your story! Come on, Sarah. We were just exploring out by the Great Wall. From the Speaking Rock, Sarah. And speak up, dear. Me and Littlefoot and Chomp... <laughs> Get to your part. Sorry, Dad. Okay, so, there I was, just me and the belly draggers, and... She was cornered, mind you. Right. I was cornered by the belly draggers. I, I bumped into the rock. No, no. She's just being modest. But we want to hear the real story, don't we? Yeah! 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 Sarah? Oh! Me want to. It's very good story. Tell us how brave you were, Sarah. And how you drove those smelly belly draggers back into the mysterious beyond. You heard them, Sarah. They want to hear your story. <sighs> okay. So, I was surrounded by the meanest belly draggers I ever saw. And they were snapping at me with their big, ugly teeth. They wanted to hurt my friends. <gasps> Scary! <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes. But I couldn't let that happen. So I, um... So I led them into a canyon. where I hatched my plan. If it is okay with you, Spike, today I would like to ride on the Amazing Three-Horn Girl. Hmm. And if it is okay with you, Sarah. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> Good idea. You'd be safe if anything bad happened during game. Uh, what would happen during the game? <sighs> Nothing's going to happen during the game. Except for my team winning! You may have been the hero yesterday, Sarah, but today you're just a regular three-horn girl. So you better be ready to play. What? We just wanted to see the amazing Three-Horn Girl. <sighs> You've seen her. 
Tell them the story of how you drived it away the belly draggers. Oh, yes. Tell us. Please. I just told that story yesterday. Oh, but I didn't hear it. Me neither. I want to hear it too. It good story, and Sarah's so brave. Well, I guess I was brave. And you saved the whole Great Valley from the belly draggers. It was pretty amazing, wasn't it? <sighs> Everyone knows belly draggers are scary. But I've always known how to handle them. So when they were chasing my friends, I knew I had to stop them. I guess everywhere she goes, everyone wants to hear her story. I don't think she minds. Talking about Sarah is one of Sarah's favorite things to talk about. Well, I guess it's okay. She did do a good thing. And that's when I sprung my trap. I shoved the big rocks at the belly draggers and scared them all off! Belly draggers on this side, belly draggers on that side. Oh! Hello, little foot. Ruby, you must be here to listen to Sarah's story. We've already heard it. Unlike my friends, I stayed calm. <gasps> I knew I but had we to didn't stop hear them. that part. Then Shh. I headbutted spotted belly dragger all the way down the path. But his two friends, three of them? There were only two belly draggers. Well, maybe you didn't see them because you were running away. Oh, oh man. Oh. <sighs> was I? Oh, yes. Belly Dragger's friends showed up, and they were big, big as two tree sweet trees. I've never heard of a Belly Dragger that big. Shh! But they could tell they weren't chasing me out of my valley, so they stomped their giant feet. Then I leapt right at them and told them, you! Get out of my valley! What? And they ran back to the mysterious beyond, never to return. Yay! Anyone who wants to hear the amazing Three Horn Girl story again can come back just before the bright circle leaves the sky. Story, I learn new things about what happened. That's because every time she tells her story, she tells a new story. Oh, me no no belly dragger grow so big. Say, maybe that's why I can still smell belly draggers. They're so big. Huh? You can still smell them? Sure, ever since the day they chased us. No matter how big they were, you shouldn't smell them all the way from the mysterious beyond. Unless they never went back. No! Sarah chased Billy Draggers back to mysterious beyond. With all her stomping! If she really did do all that stomping, maybe she left footprints. We should go to the Circle of Rocks and see. Then we'll know what parts of Sarah's story are really real and what parts really aren't really real. There's the circle of rocks. This must be place where Sarah scare off Belly Dragger. <laughs> she didn't scare their smell away. So, that no mean Belly Dragger here. <laughs> that mean Belly Dragger here. Over there! Oh, that explains why I can still smell them. <gasps> Uh-oh. But she scared them away. Did you see where they're going? Yes, and that path leads home. We have to warn everybody, fast! So, Sarah not hero?
wouldn't be surprised if they've already heard about me in the mysterious beyond. Maybe they are telling the same story about the amazing three-horned girl right now. But to them, it's a scary story. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody messes with the amazing three-horn girl. Hmm, maybe I'll take care of Red Claw next. Belly draggers! They're back! <gasps> they, they're back! Here? Hmm? Impossible. Didn't you hear the story? Yes, but we saw the real story with my own eyes. And Petrie's and Littlefoot's and Chompers. And we smelled it with my nose. Why can't you kids just accept that Sarah's better than you? She scared them off for good, and that's that. The belly draggers are too afraid of Sarah to come back. Right, Sarah? Sarah? Uh, are you sure they were belly draggers? Maybe you made a mistake. You said you scared off giant belly draggers. Well, maybe they weren't giant. But you scared them away, right? Well, they did run away, but I didn't see where they went. In fact, I didn't do anything amazing. I knocked down some rocks by accident, and, and they ran off. Oh, 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 my God. God. Oh, oh. I didn't even chase them. That means the belly draggers are still in the Great Valley. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Is it true she lied? She's not a hero. It's a shame to think that we called her amazing when she's really nothing more than a fraud. She kept us fooled by telling her story. Never once told anyone it was made up until danger arrived once again. But what should we Calm down. We should have known better than to leave the safety of the Great Valley to our children. That's our job. And now we should find those belly draggers and drive them out for good. <gasps> you should probably stay here. I believed it in the amazing three-horn girl. No, no, no. Why would you tell us a lie that is not true? Dad. I'm very disappointed in you. But, Dad. Not now, Sarah. I need to be alone. So stupid belly draggers' fault. If they hadn't come. Now everyone's gonna be mad at me forever. Even Dad. And if they hadn't run away, I would have scared them. With a big roar. Like this. <laughs> Brown 
scrapers. Stay away from my daughter. <gasps> I said, stay away. I told you that sounded like a three horn. Come on, everyone. Let's get rid of them for good. I'm sorry, Daddy. No, I'm sorry. I pushed you into making up that story. But I'm the one who lied. I know I shouldn't have. It just felt so good to be a hero. Oh, Sarah, you'll always be my amazing three-horned girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Besides, no one messes with a three-horn. <laughs> <laughs>